People think I spend a lot of time in front of a computer. I absolutely spend very minimal time in front of a computer. I'm out walking on country. I'm listening to the birds, following what they do and where they go and how they're interacting and thinking about the long history of where I'm walking from the past, the present and, and the future. The magpie has an extraordinarily long history in this country and it features very predominantly, not surprisingly, in many of our creation stories. And the one I like to tell, which is related to the tram, is around the magpies gathering together to raise the sky so that humans could walk upright. And the story really relates to working for the betterment of, of each other and the community as a whole. Oh, wow. That is deadly. I was really committed to trying to make something that would engage people. The magpies are such an engaging animal. But for people to think about what I've done in terms of restructuring the built environment around that. If you look closely at that work, it's Venetian blinds and doorknobs, and it's, it's actually an average apartment on Chapel Street, St Kilda, but it's been transformed to reveal the shapes, forms, and rhythms of indigenous ways of thinking and expressing, get more of a balance between Western systems of seeing and believing and indigenous ways. Often people say uh, I'm wearing rose-coloured glasses, but um, yeah, I truly believe we're seeing so many more uh, stories being revealed. There is a long way to go, but I think you know aspects of getting stories and art out through the public space, as with the art tram, is really significant. Once we all understand more thoroughly the history of this country more clearly, we can all move forward and work together in a more positive way.